During the Second World War, there were many different people who were forced into service inside of the different militaries. Many people who refused to fight were seen as a disgrace, and conscientious objectors were often treated poorly. Hitler would sentence many people who refused to fight to death, or would send them to concentration camps, because of the fact he saw their refusal as dissent, and as one of the worst crimes. But there was a group of people who were persecuted by the Nazis, and the Jehovah's Witnesses were attacked for their religious beliefs. When Hitler came to power, he claimed power over all social activity including religion, and he believed that people should accept him as their ultimate ruler, and should worship him almost as a god. There were many Jehovah's Witnesses who were executed for refusing to fight, and one of them was Wolfgang Kussero, a young man of 20 years of age, who went to the guillotine in Brandenburg prison for his alleged crimes. Join us today as we look at his execution, and remember as always to support our channel, please make sure to subscribe. When Wolfgang Kussero was just a young man, his parents became Jehovah's Witnesses. His father would move the family to a small town in Westphalia named Bad Lipspring when Wolfgang was just nine. Their home became the centre of a new Jehovah's Witness congregation and many people in the local area would become familiar with the family and Wolfgang and his ten siblings would grow up studying the Bible. But when the Nazis came to power, life became incredibly dangerous for them. As mentioned, Jehovah's Witnesses were attacked by the Nazis and were persecuted for their missionary work and they believed that their only allegiance was to God and his commandments, and not to political figures or any political party. Before Hitler came into power, witnesses were already being limited in what they could do, and many states were beginning to confiscate their publications, and to try to limit the spread of their beliefs. Some believed they were being too heavily influenced by the Americans, and the American way of worship, but when Hitler became Chancellor the persecution increased. The Nazi party's stormtroopers raided the homes of witnesses who refused to vote and things turned violent often. Many Jehovah's Witnesses were grabbed out of their homes and were marched to go and vote and many were beaten badly and were forced to wear placards saying they were traitors of the fatherland. In one town, mobs gathered outside the homes and they threw stones and shouted but the Nazis also linked them to the Jews. When many Witnesses went door to door handing out propaganda they were arrested by the Gestapo and were placed in prison. One German state Prussia banned them and said, they are obviously involved in agitation against political and religious institutions in word and written form. By declaring both institutions as agencies of Satan, they undermine the very foundation of life in the people's community. In their numerous publications, they deliberately and maliciously misrepresent the Bible accounts for the purpose of ridiculing state and church institutions. One of the characteristics of their struggle is a fanatical manipulation of their followers. It is therefore obvious that the above mentioned association tends to be in complete opposition to the present state and its cultural and moral structures. Further demonstrations took place and many people burned witness leaflets and literature. The Gestapo raids were constant and many people were living under threats of violence, but many more were sacked from jobs in post offices and railway stations as they refused to give the Hitler salute. The state later confiscated their driving licences and evicted some Jehovah's Witnesses from their homes and many were beaten with horse whips and family members were tortured for information and were threatened to be executed by gunshot. Sterilisation was ordered for many who refused to change their beliefs and the Gestapo sent many Jehovah's Witnesses to Buchenwald concentration camp and here they were forced to wear purple triangles to identify them. The SS guards would whip and beat them, and they were forced to do the worst jobs in the dirtiest work. Some were also attacked with jets of ice-cold water, and they were tortured, and they were forced to conduct horrific ordeals, such as pulling a wheelbarrow with their necks. A number were also executed for their religious beliefs. The Kusseros were forced to live under close watch by the Gestapo because of their religion, and they continued to live by the beliefs and refused to change. The Nazis arrested Wolfgang's father and his older brother, but the Kusseros continued to host illegal and banned Bible study meetings in their home. But at some point around 1940, as the Second World War had broken out, Wolfgang was called up for military service in the Wehrmacht, but this would go against his beliefs. He believed that God was his guide in life and not Hitler, and he believed in God's fifth commandment, Thou shalt not kill. 
and with this he refused to attend the induction into the German army and attend training. However, because of this, in December 1941, he was arrested. Following this, a bill of indictment was issued on January 12, 1942, as he was held in prison for a number of months, before he was then brought to trial in court. He was accused of bringing down the military's morale, and for deserting the military and refusing to fight. He was tried in front of a pro-Nazi people's court, and the judges believed had already made his mind up on what to do with Wolfgang Kussero, the young 20-year-old man who tried to stand up to Hitler. He was sentenced to death for his crimes, and on the night before his execution, he wrote to his family outlining what had happened, and also he assured them that he was faithful to God, and that God would guide him through whatever would greet him. To execute dissenters, Hitler and his courts sentenced many people to death using the guillotine, a device which became famous during the French Revolution for taking as many lives as quickly as possible. Prisons around Germany would have a guillotine which would execute thousands, and inside of Brandenburg prison, Wolfgang Cussero was taken from his cell on the 28th of March 1942. At just the age of 20, he was led into the execution chamber and was met by the executioner and his assistant. His legs and arms were secured and fastened, and he was then strapped to a wooden board, which was quickly placed under the guillotine blade. The executioner then released the blade, and Wolfgang Kussero was beheaded, with his head then falling into the basket below. Wolfgang was just 20 when he was brutally executed inside of an Nazi prison, for his religious beliefs. He and his family were not harming anyone in their worship, but they were targeted heavily, and were attacked by the Gestapo, who saw their refusal to accept Hitler as dangerous. They weren't outright critical of Hitler and the Nazis, they just refused to accept a role inside of the German military, and Wolfgang believed it was wrong for him to take the life of an enemy. But this was enough for the Nazis to sentence him to death, and he was brutally executed on the guillotine. Thanks for watching. To support our channel, please make sure to subscribe, and once again, thank you so much for watching.